According to the FDA, around 60% of all produce contains pesticide residues. And that means there's a significant amount of pesticides entering our diet, but they've been linked to a variety of health issues, from Alzheimer's to Parkinson's to even certain cancers. However, if we could detect these pesticides, we could avoid consuming them and thereby decrease the risks of these health issues. The current methods of detecting pesticides, the ones that are designed for at-home use, they typically require the chopping up of the produce and the application of certain chemicals, and that renders the produce unconsumable. However, the non-destructive methods, the ones that leave the produce consumable and untouched, they typically either require a lab or they're way too expensive for the average person. That's why I designed PestiScan, a handheld AI-based pesticide detector. Hi, I'm Sarish Sabash from Snellville, Georgia, and this is my project, PestiScan. So PestiScan, it works on the principle of spectrophotometry, so it shines different wavelengths of light onto an object, and it looks at what's reflected back. So different objects based on their chemical compositions, they reflect and absorb different wavelengths of light. PestiScan looks for specific wavelengths of light that are reflected by pesticides. That's in a nutshell how it works. So now I'm going to take a quick demo of PestiScan. So here we have PestiScan, here we see on the screen, the user interface. All you have to do is tap measure while you're pointing the sensor here at the produce item. So once you tap measure, this sensor will scan the produce item and it'll read the data to the AI modules where the result is processed and we get the output here which is there's no pesticides detected. So the user can read out the pop-up, close it out, and proceed to either measure again or exit the program. So pest scan, it did really well in its current phase in testing. However, I have plans for improvements as well. So I'm planning on changing out the sensor to a more accurate sensor while also tuning the wavelength range that have pesticides. And I'm planning on changing the AI models to have them trained on more samples. That way they have a broader coverage of pesticides and produce items, as well as a higher accuracy. And lastly, I'm planning on working on a mobile app where you have a version of pest scan where it will just clip onto the back of your phone and you hold your phone over the produce item and you tap scan on the phone. That would make it much more portable and cost effective. So that's pest scan, how it works, and where I'm planning to take this project. Thank you for your time.